Hey there everyone, Paradise Gamer 13 here. And I am just about to fight the, the final boss, Bowser, here. Actually for the second time, I guess, but uh, this this fight's gonna be considerably at least a little bit more difficult than the other one. Hmm. I'm actually gonna use Lacko Lester. I could use Watt, but since I have these problems with my emulator that it doesn't show up or whatever, that uh I'm just going to use Lackluster instead. Otherwise, I would recommend using Watt, because obviously he ignores defense bonuses and whatnot. You should thank me, Mario. Ooh, a special arena. I mean, I'm not going to lie, I, this doesn't really look that cool of an arena, but whatever. <laughs> of course, then again, though, it does like... I don't know. It gets really weird. Or not weird, but like, it gets a little bit cooler, I guess, because it like... I don't know, it's, it has like a, it starts like glowing and stuff. It's like, what's her name? Kamikuba uses magic on it or whatever. Yeah. So that looks like a little bit cool, I guess. But still, I mean, yeah. Not as cool as the final fight from Super Mario 64, I don't think. But, but and now he's huge. Uh, wow, yeah, actually he's like five times the size of Mario or something like that, maybe. Yeah, that's pretty big. Okay, so this first part, do not really do anything. I mean, you can attack him, obviously, but, like, don't bother using any items or anything like that. It's, it'd just be a waste. Um, and if you decide that you don't want to go with a certain uh, partner, then try to switch out as soon as possible. Um, yeah, as you can see, he's, he's significantly stronger than he was before. Uh... I forgot I have the, the P up D down badge. So I guess that is kind of a factor. I guess, is it? Well, it's not completely pointless for me to have damage dodge and uh, P up D down, but whatever. Alright. So, obviously, you just try to use the Star Beam here. It's not actually going to be effective. <laughs> but, uh, it, I mean, it's basically scripted to be like that. So, like I said, that's why. Don't bother using the items, because I think you actually get healed between this fight and the. The next part, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, doesn't do anything. But yeah, so there's really no point in healing yourself. Because like I said, I'm pretty sure you will get healed. And same thing, I don't know if Bowser gets healed too, or I forget actually how it is, but whatever. So anyways, we're actually going to do a little side battle here. Which is kind of cool. Between Twink and Kami Koopa. And Peach. I think, yeah, Peach, like, Peach doesn't actually fight. <laughs> but she basically is kind of like the support character for you. It's an interesting little fight nonetheless, I guess. You little whippersnapper. Uh, dash. So yeah, it doesn't do anything at first. But then... Uh... You use Focus as Peach, and each time you do that, it raises Twink's attack. So I don't actually know how much HP, uh, what's-her-name has, Kami Koopa, but it doesn't take too long, really. Oh, and the other thing is, too, you're basically, uh, you're, I have to say invincible, <laughs> but, uh, you don't have any HP or whatever, so she can keep hammering you with her blocks all day. It doesn't really matter because you can't die. So this part's basically just kind of scripted too, to an extent. You know, and each time her attacks will do less, but again, it doesn't really matter. You don't have any HP, so it's whatever. So you just keep uh, using dash and focus. Those are obviously your only two options. But, uh... At least you don't have to fight both Bowser and Kami Koopa as uh, Mario. That'd be a little bit more of a hassle. Like I said, the final boss to this is, a, in my opinion, was a lot easier than it was for Thousand Year Door. They, <laughs> they definitely amped up the difficulty a little there. But, I'm, eh, I mean, it depends on how you look at it, really. I kind of like a good challenge every once in a while, but I still really enjoy this game, too. And, like, the fact that it's not super difficult doesn't really changed my opinion on it a whole lot. Boom, doesn't even affect me. <laughs> uh, 
I think this should be the final blow here. Yep. Too bad you don't get star points for this either, but oh, whatever. Of course, I guess your star points don't really matter because the game doesn't save after you beat it, unfortunately. But, oh well. That's why it's a good idea to save right before this fight, so in case you didn't do it, it's not going to send you back to, uh, like a far, way back farther spot or whatever. Uh, oh yeah, so basically Peach, like, prays to the stars or something, and it enhances your, uh, your star beam. Oh, and, and Twink, like, helps out with it too, I think. Feeling a bit under the weather? You ought to work out more. <laughs> like how he's just like, he just like walks away. He's like, oh, I'm not worried about anything else. I'm just going to go look for whatever hit me and turn my back completely to Mario for a long period of time. Twink. So now we got the Peach Beam, I believe. I think, it's, I think that's what it's called. And it can actually uh, diffuse his star rod powers. Too bad it doesn't like do damage or anything like that. It's kind of like a waste. I, I just say waste of a turn because obviously it does do something, but I mean that's literally the only thing it does. So <laughs> it's like yeah, yeah. I guess briefly stop Bowser's star rod power. So I guess if you used it on any other enemy, it wouldn't really do anything. But I don't really know. Like I said, I've never actually tried that, so. It'd be something that I, if I would have remembered, I could have actually tried, but whatever. So yeah, now you at least, I guess he didn't get healed, it just you did, yeah. So, that's kind of cool. I guess I could have used, I should have used more FP based attack than, attacks then. Ah, I got poison again. Ah, uh, I do not like poison. Oh. Uh, do I have anything that even heals poison? I don't think I do. No point in even checking. Mega Smash is probably going to put quite a hurting on him though. Yeah, 10. That is fantastic. And that does 3. Not too bad. At least I blocked that for once. Uh, that poison is just kind of annoying me. I wonder if, like, Smooch or something will uh, get rid of that. I don't think it does, though. At least I got Happy Heart. Oh, I guess Happy Heart kind of cancels it out. That's nice. It's a pretty useful badge. And you get basically a hard back per turn. Ooh, that's not pleasant. A hard back per turn, just about. Most turns, at least. I guess not every turn, but. And at least my poison's over. Yeah, I'm just putting a whooping on him. Mega Smash is. Well, I should say the most. I hesitate to say the most useful badge in this fight, but it definitely is useful. Uh, is he going to make himself invincible again? Yeah. Not too much of a problem, though. Again, unfortunately, though, that means I can't Mega Smash him this turn. Too bad you can't use the star power and attack. Well, that'd be a bit... That'd be a bit ridiculous. <laughs> that would ease the difficulty of this game quite a bit. But, oh well. I don't really know what I'm going to do now. This is going to be the first, uh... First LP series that I've completed. So... I suppose it should be kind of an emotional moment for me. <laughs> but, uh, whatever. Mega Smash. 6 FP each time I use it, but I, like I said, I've gotten a lot of FP by now, so I'm, I'm good to go. Is there Cloud 9? Yeah, it's not really... I guess I could use one of those, but I'm not, not gonna bother. I'd rather save my FP for Mega Smash. Holy cow. Not cool. Ah, you know what? I'm not even going to mess with it, wasting a turn, because i got plenty of life shrooms. I feel like he's going to heal himself soon. I mean, he has 13. He's going to have 10 HP left. I think I think when he heals himself, he heals himself like 30 HP, which is a bit ridiculous. But, whatever. Oh, no, he's making him see... I might as well just wait it out and see if I can get... Oh, well, Happy Heart didn't take effect that time, but... You know, I might as well just wait it out a little bit. Peach Beam. And 
mean, he's about to have seven. There's no way he doesn't heal himself this turn. If not, that'd be kind of surprising, really. Because, I mean, if he doesn't heal himself, I can wipe him out on this next turn. Oh, he's not going to. He's going to kill me instead. Quote, kill me. Life Shroom. Yeah. I don't... Does that waste your turn? I don't think it does. Nope. Alrighty. Alright, time for me to... Oh, great. <laughs> I was going to say time for me to deal with the finishing blow. But I don't have enough FP. You've got to be kidding me. Well, I guess I could use Star. Yeah, what the heck. Wait, I don't even know if that'll affect him or not, though. I'm just going to take the safe route and just use my regular hammer. Ah, oh, six. I was like, that might actually kill him, but not quite. I still have a uh, lackluster though to deal the finishing blow. Boom. Alrighty. Oh no. So that is that. I mean, that's the game basically. There's a couple other side quests that. I'm probably going to go back and do a little bit of, but I mean, I don't, <laughs> I don't know what to say, I mean, that's the end, other than the credits, but, oh, Mario. Oh, no, it's, it's going to blow up. I think the Star Spirits save us, though. Not Bowser and Kamikuba, though. <laughs> Just uh, Mario and Peach. And lackluster and twink, I guess. Yo, Kami Koopa. The battle was so intense. He didn't even heal himself once. I still can't even get over that. I guess it's probably like scripted for like me to be so low on health like that that he's just gonna go ahead and attack. Let's so <laughs> just go flying off the side. I'm not gonna question it really though. This whole castle is blowing up. But like I said, the Star Spirits, I think, form some kind of, like, protective thing, barrier thing, and, like, drop the whole castle down gently-ish. I, I don't know, I feel like it'd be kind of pointless for the most part to show, like, the credits and stuff for most games, but... Credits for this are actually pretty interesting. Like, I always like it when a game has, like, interesting credits. I'm like, yes. Because I <laughs> hate it when it's just, like, a black screen with, like, white where it's, like, scrolling gradually down at a slow pace. I like it to be a little bit more, at least somewhat entertaining to watch. Like, alright, if I have to read through all these people's names, let's make it a little interesting. Yeah. Oh, Mario, thank you. Alright, so we gave him the Star Rod back, and that's that's that. And, oh yeah, people's wishes can be granted again now. So we're all good. That, that one toad uh, can get his shrimp cake now, potentially. Uh, I hope Bowser learned something. Psh, yeah, right. <laughs> he, okay, he does say the chances are pretty slim. Alright. I was going to say, I like... I highly doubt that. Given future game releases, I don't think he's really learned anything. And there they go. Back up to Star Haven. And now Twink goes. You've been a stellar friend. Goodbye. I've always thought that animation looked a little weird. He like goes up in a spiral. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I'm not gonna lie. Like Lester is probably like my one of my, if not my favorite partner out of the Paper Mario series. Definitely one of my favorites. He just. He looks like such a badass with his little shades on and stuff. But yeah, <laughs> I don't I don't really know where that came where that uh, comment came from. But I was like, yeah, why not? Oh, oh, it's still floating through the air. I thought it already landed. Oh, never mind. 
I just realized that. I was like, oh, it's still gradually floating down in its giant bubble. Uh. Oh, so that's it, huh? <laughs> I know you've been back for days now, but I'll bet you'll still kind of feel like you're on an adventure, don't you? Huh. I wonder what they're up to now. I think it's kind of cool to figure out what they're all doing now. Well, Gimbaro's not really doing anything interesting. I I mean, I not that I dislike him. Obviously, I like using him. But he's just kind of like one of the least interesting partners. I mean, it, it's, it's okay for being basic and stuff like that. Obviously, he's kind of essential to the story, but... Uh... Nonetheless, it's just... The other characters, I think, are at least a little bit more interesting. Hey, Goombario! Jeepers! <laughs> Alright. Whoa! 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 Bombette. Bombette moved into Koopa Village, evidently. I guess Cooper would be here, too. There's Colorado's wife. Bo. That was a kind of a fun level, Boo's Mansion. Kind of interesting and quirky. <laughs> Shy Guy's Toy Box. So he goes back to Shy Guy's Toy Box. That's interesting. Sushi. Still out on the island. <laughs> Why is he just, like, jumping around behind him? Lack of Lester. I just look at that like smirk on his face. It's just like, I am a badass and I know it. Who, oh, Colorado. And oh, Cooper. I was like, why wasn't Cooper in Koopa Village? Now then, gentlemen. Cooper, old boy, you're in charge of getting us. Your prior experience is terribly important to the success of our expedition. Oh, I'm Perry. Perry is like the unfortunate one. He doesn't get to stay at any particular place. He is running around, or well, flying around, I guess I should say, delivering all these letters. I guess he would normally be in tow down, but yeah. Oh, Poppycock. Balderdash. I'm not gonna lie, I love Colorado as a character. He's just so, like, bizarre, <laughs> I guess. Nonetheless. Oh, Colorado, I have a message for you as well. Don't bother coming back home, you wandering buffoon. That was a message from your wife. <laughs> yeah, he, he's such an interesting character. I really wish they would bring him back to, like... Like I said, I haven't played uh, Sticker Star yet, but... That'd be cool if they brought him back. I don't think he was in, uh... Whatever it's called. That was in your door. Not that I can recall. Off the top of my head, at least. But, uh, yeah. Oh, and now Mario gets a letter. Just kind of chilling there. Alright, now we're going to the party. It's like a big parade and stuff. It's pretty cool. I think we're done, like, controlling this, though, for now. I don't think... I don't think there's anything else to control. Just get to sit back and watch the cutscene now. Play. Oh, uh, well, other than talking to them. Wait, what? No, wait. Do Yeah, I guess... Huh. Can we buy items? Guess not. I wonder if you can, like, even access the save block. I don't know if there's one around here or not. Check Quizmo. You, you can't get a quiz from... I see, I don't think you can do anything that, like... Would otherwise... Hey, there's Colorado, speaking of him. Uh, affect this, like, the save file at the end or whatever. There's a lot of people here. I mean, I guess you could talk to them all and stuff. Mousetafa. He's another interesting, like, kind of quirky little character that I feel like is kind of under underappreciated. Not as much as Colorado, though. Colorado is priceless. Greetings to all of you. <laughs> I 
all the wizard family guys. Whatever, whatever all their names are. This is my heartfelt fish. Alrighty. And that is it. So like I said, my first LP series finished. Which was definitely worth it, given this is one of my favorite games of all time. So, I like how Luigi leaves everything. Oh, that must be his, like, secret thing that he had to prepare for, or whatever he was talking about. Um, I'm trying to think of any side quests I can do. I know, well, there's a letter, like, delivering all the letters. That really gets you, like, most of the, most of the side quests don't have, like, super good rewards, to be honest. Um. Uh, what is, uh, oh, I think you, there's a couple badges I can get, I can think of at least. Um, of course, I guess that's kind of points. Because, like I said, there's not, like, any, like, other, well, can't see Koopa. I don't think I fought him yet. I might as well whip him, um, when I get back, but, uh, what else is there to do, really? Well, oh, the Koopa Koop missions, that's the other thing I was forgetting. I'll probably do those. As I said, this is, I think this is pretty cool. Like, they made a, like, for instance, the Cooper Brothers are riding on a float made out of the, the Bowser machine thing that, whoa, I forgot, the, how did the, the bob have hands? Like, <laughs> I, I completely forgot about that part, I was like, wait a minute, bob have hands? That's a little weird, but, I like how, like, the lake just moves, like, across somehow. But yeah. <laughs> There's the chomp still chasing that guy. Uh, oh yeah, but you know, anyways, the uh, I think it's kind of cool how the uh, <laughs> he turns flat and he just like runs past him. I think. Oh, I don't know. Maybe not. There's the b buzzard or whatever his name. Bazaar. I think it was just buzzard. I don't think there was a D. Wait. Oh, I guess, I guess he wasn't a guy. I just always assumed that for whatever reason. Oh, yeah, there's three chain chomps chasing that guy now. I thought there were, but I went not since they when he ran off the screen. Bootler. Just kind of chilling there. <laughs> Tell the blubber. And his heart. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh... Whatever it's called. At least the credits are pretty interesting. Oh, there's the, the Goomba King. And red and blue Goomba. So this entire time, evidently, it's basically implied that they're... Oh, there we go. So after who knows how long of all this adventuring and whatnot, he was stuck in that tree, and they couldn't do absolutely anything. Interesting. I guess Goombas are pretty pathetic anyways. Like, I guess I wouldn't put it past them to not be able to do anything. And there's Raphael. And uh, I think the lava crown is on the air side. But yeah. Well, anyways, <laughs> I really do enjoy the interesting credits here. It makes it a lot nicer, especially since they like they put them below the what's what's going on up uh, on the top part of the screen. So that way it doesn't interfere with the interestingness, and you don't really have to pay pay any attention to them, I guess. Uh, I don't know, I guess there might be some people that enjoy reading credits, but whatever. Hey, it's Huff and Puff. Like, all the bosses are, like, pretty chill now. Like, they don't really bother, uh, bother you whatsoever. <laughs> Gourmet guy. Yet another interesting character. This is quite a few interesting characters, in my opinion. Crystal King. The Crystal King. Two Crystal Kings. Oh, that's just a duplicate ghost. Another Crystal King. Another duplicate ghost. And the little ice guys. Ah, uh, Junior Trooper. And Kami <laughs> Huh. 
Can't remember this. Bowser. <laughs> He's not too happy about that. Uh. Boom. <laughs> Alright, I guess it's night now. Must have taken a really long time for them all to process like that. I kind of just sitting on trees too. I don't really understand <laughs> what that's all about. I guess this is supposed to be the ice place, Shiver City. There's the mayor. Yeah, this is this is like part of another side quest that I didn't do yet. Uh, this lady like supposedly couldn't sing and stuff, and you can like help out the composer guy and stuff like that. But, and I think you, you get a badge for it. Like I said, I, I hadn't done that yet, so. All the wizard guys again. Merlin, Merlo, Merle. I, I honestly don't even know half of what their names are. There's the sun. Which is kind of awkward. Because there's already a sun in this dimension. But whatever. Bubbles. Ah, the Shy Guys. Shy Guys Toy Box was a pretty unique level, I think. I kind of liked it. That was interesting, at least, nonetheless. <laughs> Group Guys. Well, like I said, this has got to be one of the best credit sequences out of any game, just about. At least out of any Mario game, if uh, nothing else. There's the guy that always trips and falls. Uh, I'm trying to think what else is left. I think actually that might be pretty close to being it. I think there's like a flow with like Mario and Peach and such, maybe. Giant mushroom. I think this is it. Yeah, Mario and Peach. Hey, it's Twink. What do you know? And he's gone. They <laughs> just leave in the middle of the parade. Like, all right, we're done with this. We're probably only about halfway. It's just going on with nobody on it now. Uh, going back to Mario's house. And, I mean, that's pretty much it, I believe. And, of course, my emulator messes up, so you can't really see the fireworks that well, but... You get the point, I guess. The end. Oh, there we go. Can I see... Nope. Can't see the fireworks now. Alright. That's wonderful. That, that's That's cool, I guess. I said there's no like option to be able to save or anything, so you just have to. When next time you play this, if you wanted to go back and do any side quests or anything, you just have to uh, uh, basically restart from wherever the last point you saved was prior to the boss battle. But yeah, so that's it. Like I said, um, I really enjoyed this game, and like I said, I know some people might have a problem with how like easy it kind of is. Um, but really, I don't think it's like super like too easy to not be fun, obviously. And I still have a good time playing it, like I said multiple times, and it still remains definitely one of my favorite games of all time. Um, it's held up pretty well, I think. So hopefully, you know, other people that have anyone else that's played it enjoys it uh, as much as I do. And that is it. Like I said, I I think I might make a couple like uh, epilogue. Uh, type videos with different side quests and stuff but for now that's it so that is it for this part uh, hope you guys have enjoyed everything so far and thanks again for watching